Okay, this is lesson 11.2, and it's called Addition and Subtraction Equations. Now, in the last lesson, you learned what an equation is, and basically you got an equation and a possible solution, and your job was to figure out, is that value for the variable a solution, yes or no? Today, what we're going to do is we're actually going to solve for the variable. We're going to figure out what is the value of the variable. We're not going to be given a value to see if it works or not. We're actually going to solve and figure out what the variable equals. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to start with addition and subtraction equations, beginning with addition. Okay, so when an equation contains addition, You actually solve it by subtracting, okay? When an equation contains addition, solve by subtracting the number from both sides of the equal sign. All right, let me show you what I mean by that. Here is an equation that has addition. It says A plus 15 equals 26. So the equation involves addition. What we're going to do to solve for A is we are going to subtract the number, which is 15, from both sides of the equal sign. Here's what that looks like. I'm going to, I often draw a line to separate the two sides of the equal sign. Okay, so we're going to draw a line separating the two sides. And we're going to subtract 15 from this side. And we're going to subtract 15 from this side. Well, 15 minus 15 is zero, right? So we basically get rid of that plus 15 because 15 minus 15 is zero. So all we have left on this side, we, we end up really with A plus zero on this side. Well, A plus zero is A. So really we only have A left, okay? On this side, we have 26 minus 15. So 6 minus 5 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. So basically A equals 11. That is how we solve and we figure out. So if you look at it and we put 11 back in there, 11 plus 15, is that 26? It is, right? So A is the, I mean, 11 is the solution. So the way we solve equations that have addition in them is we actually subtract the number that is being added, but we subtract it from both sides of the equal sign. Okay, let's do another one. We have z or 12 plus z equals 84. Basically, 12 is being added to z. Okay, so what are we going to do? I'm going to draw a line separating the two sides of the equal side, and then I'm going to subtract 12 from this side and subtract 12 from this side. Well, 12 minus 12 again is zero. So we end up with zero plus Z. Well, zero plus Z is Z. Okay, so those basically cancel out because 12 minus 12 is zero. So we get Z equals four minus two is two. Eight minus one is seven. So Z is 72 and we can check it out. If I put in 72 here is 72 plus 12, 84. And it is. Okay, so the way you solve for the variable when the equation has addition in it is by subtracting. Okay, so here are the steps that you want to think about when solving equations. First, you want to find the variable. Okay, sometimes the variable is on the right side of the equation, sometimes it's on the left side. You want to find the variable. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to ask what is happening to the variable. And once you know basically something is being added to the variable or subtracted or multiplied or divided, doesn't matter, in, in this lesson it's addition and subtraction. Once you know what is happening to the variable, you undo that operation. You undo subtraction by adding, right? And you're going to do that on both Sides. You're going to undo the operation on both sides of the equal sign. So no matter what is happening to the variable, the way you solve for the variable is by undoing the operation on both sides of the equal sign. Okay? So 
Same with subtracting. When, sub, when, when an equation contains subtraction, you're going to solve by adding the same number to both sides of the equal sign. Okay, so let's take a look at that. We have y minus 21 equals 18. Well, if I draw my line, here's my variable. 21 is being subtracted. To solve for that, I am going to add. So I'm going to add 21 here and add 21 here. Minus 21 and plus 21 is zero. If you think about your integers way back from the beginning of the school year, negative 21 and positive 21 brings you back to zero. So that is zero. We get y on this side, y equals or to both sides, then this is going to be zero, and I'm gonna get B equals four, minus four plus five plus four is nine, eight plus one is nine. So 99 minus 84 is 15, all right? So that is 11.2, equations with addition and subtraction. And the steps to solving is to find the variable. Ask yourself, what is happening to the variable? Is it something being added, something being subtracted? And the way you solve is to undo that on both sides. To undo addition, you subtract. To undo subtraction, you add. And that is 11.2.